Hey YouTube, NHFD Cadet here with a demo of how to program a Minuter 5 pager. First thing you're going to need, obviously, a Minuter 5. You're also going to need a USB to serial plug adapter. You can get them at Radio Shack, pretty much anywhere. Um, you're also going to need what Motorola refers to as the coiled wire. So, in addition to that, you're also going to need a programming cradle. Looks a lot like a charger, but it's not a charger. So, what you're going to do first is you're going to plug the USB into the wire into your computer. take the serial end and you're going to put the serial plug into it and you're just going to set that up here. Next you're going to plug in to the back of your programming cradle and you don't need to plug in a power plug there. Now for the pager part what you're going to do is you're going to put the pager on C and you're going to turn it off. You're going to hold down the reset button and then turn it back on and it's going to put it into programming mode. You'll know it's in programming mode when it beeps like that and then stops. Both lights will come on. And then nothing happens when you push any of the buttons. You're then going to put the pager into the programming cradle, it clips in. And you're going to open up Minute or 5 PPS, which stands for Pager Programming Software. Click Read from Pager. The first screen that comes up is the user data, the pager information, the model number, band split, the serial number. All kinds of that stuff. Next is frequency one. I have LCD dispatch one in there. And then your tone frequencies. Um, the only tones that you could put in there are Motorola Quick Call two tones if you have it set to Motorola. So. Um, if it do, if it's not one of the tones in this list, then you cannot put it in there. However, there are different tone systems you could put in. There's GE, Plectron, User, and Fast Plectron. If I go to User, then I may be able to get away with putting in a different tone. back to Motorola and all the tones go back to normal over here is where you pick the alert type your standard continuous and music 1 through 8 um, then it, you can have 8 two tone alerts and 4 group calls or long tones channel F2 I have Winston Ambulance. I only have the two tones in there. And then once again you can change the alerts. The thing I like about the Minute or 5 better than the Minute or 4 is that it does narrowband frequencies. So instead of having 155.1050 like I have in my Minute or 4, I can do 155.1075. Right here is where you change how long your stored voice records for. Mine set for 60 seconds. Voice memo that turns on or off when you turn on the pager and it says selective call frequency 1. 
it, you can turn that on or off. Fixed alert means that when the page or alerts, no matter where the volume knob is at, is still the volume is still maximum when it alerts. Alert duration. Uh, standard means it'll beep as long as the B tone lasts, but fixed means that it'll beep for a specific amount of time. So maybe if you lose the signal, your pager will still alert. Call reminder, that means when you have a pager with stored voice, as long as you do not listen to the call on the stored voice every two minutes or so, your pager will beep. It'll go beep beep, and that just reminds you that there's a call. And then you got priority alert, privacy, reset function, and the squelch level. And to the function switches, you got A, B, C, and D. Modes you can put them in are monitor F1, monitor F2, selective call F1, selective call F2, probability scan, priority scan, and silent scan. I have A and B on silent scan. A is tone, B is vibrate, C is monitor F1, vibrate and tone, and D is probability scan, also in tone. So once you get the pager to what you want, you're going to click OK, and then you're going to click Rate to Pager. And it's going to ask you if you want to, you're going to click Yes, unless you don't want to, then you're going to click No. And then it should come up with a message that says success. And then you can take the pager out of the programmer. And turn it back on. And it should work normally. Bear with me one second. There we go, okay. This concludes the demo of programming a minute or five pager. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.